Unfortunately, at this point, my numbers keep going down um, with the different medications and everything that we're trying. It's where we're doing our best to, to stay off of dialysis. What had happened was back in uh, January, I started this keto diet and I lost about 35 pounds. I was diabetic before that. And I was doing so great with this diet that the doctor had to take me off the insulin and take me off some of my medicines. So he said, listen, we're doing such a great job. Why don't we do a full blood work and see what else we can work on? I'm like, perfect. So we did the blood work and two days later, he told me I had to go and call this other doctor. And that's when I was diagnosed with stage four C uh, CKD, chronic kidney disease. Um, at that time, my numbers, we, was about 29, which is just on the border of stage four. Since that, it's progressed. Now I'm at, at 16, so I'm literally on the, on the cusp of stage five, which is renal failure. But they're saying that the, the best way to, to handle this is getting a kidney transplant. Um, so we're dealing with St. Barnabas in Livingston, New Jersey, and Mount Sinai in Manhattan, just trying to, to see if people want to, or are willing to, share their spare and, and, and donate a kidney. It's actually amazing when you, when you say that you, you have an illness or something, a lot of the people who had, had gone through the same thing start coming out of the woodwork and letting you know that they support you. I mean, the, the parish here is very supportive no matter what, but we've had a lot of people who are very encouraging and people who've been on dialysis, people who've had kidney transplants, people who've donated kidneys, um, so it's something, you know, when you're struggling with something to see other people, they'll come out and let you know that they were struggling too. It kind of gives you hope, it, it, you know, keeps your spirits up. And that's one of the things we're trying to most is to, to stay positive throughout this whole thing.